Absolutely. What do you think of our new polytunnels? I think they are absolutely gorgeous. They're deadly, aren't they? And where else would you get them, like oh, in a city, urban location They're like that? They're brilliant. I am actually ridiculously excited to be growing cucumbers. Oh, yeah. I love them. They are one of those vegetables that there is a discernible difference between a yummy proper yeah. homegrown one and a mawkish imported covered in plastic one. Yes. So um, I have no idea, no idea how to grow them. They will grow to up to about 10 foot, a healthy wow. plant. So they're, they're a vine, very similar, grown in a very similar way to tomatoes. Okay. So they need lots of, lots of the head height that we have in here. Um, and from each one, you're going to get about, again, with a very healthy plant, up to 20 cucumbers from it. Oh, that's deadly. Yeah. Okay, wow. And, and the, higher, the higher it goes, the more cucumbers you're going to get as well. So we've got two varieties we're going to do. We've got a, a fairly straightforward one called Cassandra. Okay. And the second one, this always gives me a giggle. This one's called Burpless. Okay. So you know the way sometimes, well, you wouldn't know this because you're such a lady, obviously, but <laughs> sometimes lady. cucumbers make you burp. <laughs> Because the skins are hard to digest, but this is very low in the compound that causes the burping, the burpiness. The burp so factor. So hence, it's called burpless. Are we doing potting compost? Seed? Like, how hungry uh, are they for the seeds? Well, no, they're only going to be in here for a couple of weeks, so seed compost is fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the usual overfill. The usual overfill, jobby. Okay, so you're ready? Yeah. So I think you should do the Passandra. I think that sounds like the kind of, kind of variety you Cassandra, best do. mate from Bristol Uni. And I'll do the burpless. <laughs> Not too small seed, oh, nice and yeah. easy to work with. So <gasps> hang, on, hang on, let me ask a question. Do we plant them on the sides so that the... You do. <gasps> you are. Yes. My God. Literally stick them down about a centimetre deep. Okay, are we done? Yeah, let's bring them down to the glass house. Why are we bringing them down to the glass house? Because that's where we're going to keep them. Why did we not just do all that down at the glass house? Because I wanted to show you my polish tunnel. Oh my God, you need to get oh. out more. It's been about three weeks since we planted the cucumber seeds and it is time to move them on. But first, I have a very important question to ask. Michael Kelly, what are you doing up the ladder? Well, you know, I, I always like kind of getting a height advantage when I'm talking <laughs> to you. It makes me feel sort of powerful. <laughs> so we've got our cucumbers ready to, for planting, right? And like all, they're a vine, very similar to tomatoes. So they need, they're going to get up to eight to 10 foot, three to four meters. And so we're going to grow them up this twine. So we're just going to tie this in, fairly simple knot, one string for each cucumber plant we're going to plant, right? So did you have to dig deep there for the old uh, Boy Scouts knot knowledge? Uh, not really, it's a very simple round turn and two half hitches. <laughs> Down I come. Down he comes. They are growing really, really well in here and, and starting to run out of food a little bit. So normally we go with kind of a handful of the seaweed dust and the poultry manure pellets. We're going to kind of triple that. In. Woo! Sorry. The boom is back, people. The <laughs> boom is back. We're going absolutely mad. So I'm going to hand you this. This Thank is the you. seaweed dust and okay. I've got the poultry manure pellets. And we get three handfuls of each into this into this area. Yeah? You know you say three, yeah. You know what that means in like Karen O'Donoghue That's terms. like five. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do two two rows with three plants in each row for okay. this. So I'll just start with dig a hole a little bit bigger than you, than I suppose the module itself because we want enough space for for this. So what I do is just hold it kind of. You want it to be nice and tight so there's a bit of tension in it. Don't have it kind of too loose and just sort of put a bit of soil in that and kind of hold it. Okay. Now if you hand me one of those, so just put that in on top and then put your soil back in around and that's it. And it's not big enough to kind of trail around this yet, yes, but as okay. it grows, we'll, we'll, we'll encourage it at the start and then it'll, it'll find it itself. Do yeah. It. yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to space these about 30 centimetres apart, which is about the width of the trowel. Right, that was pretty specific. We have a plan, I'm going to get planting.
For now, we're just going to give them a really good watering in because roots love love water. So it's a great way to encourage them to get established, give them a good watering, good drink now at this stage, and, and the roots will go off in search of that water. So we don't need to worry about, with, with tomatoes, you're always worried about getting moisture on the leaves. It causes disease and mm -hmm. stuff. We don't need to worry about that with cucumbers. They like a kind of a good, humid environment. Okay. Plenty of water on top of these, and we're going to be watering nearly every day. All oh, right, cranky. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll have to set up a rota. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> they're amazing, aren't they? They're so, and so, they're so beautiful. Come here, quick, quick count, right? Yeah. 16, 17, something like that, cucumbers coming already. And what are they, like, not even a quarter of their height yet? Well, exactly. But they are so, a quarter, sorry. I mean, eventually they'll, they'll go all the way to the top and they'll come all the way back down again if you let them. They do have their own little tendrils, you can see, right? Mm -hmm. But they're not very successful at climbing. Okay. <laughs> so you have to kind of, you have to kind of tie them in very gently, because if you break the plant, Oh. Game, over. game over. Okay, so they do need a little bit of help, need a bit of help to wrap around. Yeah, and also similar to similar to, to tomatoes, they produce side shoots. And all that is is basically it's trying to produce way more plant and you end up with a really unfocused plant with no, you know, too much energy being spent on growing leaves, not okay. enough energy being spent on producing cucumbers. So we're going to pinch them out. They love humidity, so we nice. water them from overhead and you get that moisture on the leaves and lots of heat in here and they're, they're doing really, really well. Loads of work to do. We're hoping this is going to stay cropping for a long time to come yet and it's got a really heavy requirement for nitrogen. Huge big plants needs plenty of feed to keep it happy, so we've got some uh, nitrogen pellets here, which we're going to just sprinkle around the base of the plants, probably about a handful on each. So the burpless variety, unfortunately, got powdery mildew, um, and it's been quite so bad, you can see it really clearly, a white mold on the leaves. You'd think it comes from excessive moisture, but actually it's a problem of too, too dry. When you get this problem, though, there's quite a simple treatment for it. So we use just simple milk, we use slimline milk, because it, if you use full fat milk, it can get very smelly on the leaves. Uh, but you use 10 parts water to one part milk, and we just pour it over the leaves. And we'll keep doing that and hope for the best. Right, so that's them fed, watered, treated. So we'll be back here to harvest in a couple of weeks' time. <laughs> Look at the size of these cucumbers. Like they have just kept growing and growing. They're up to about nine foot tall I guess at this stage they're still growing and the weight in a cucumber as well fully grown is is substantial and this plant like spindly and kind of viney as it is has to support about 30 or 40 of these at a time and the way it does that is that as it's growing up the way it's sending out these little tendrils which grab onto the the twine that we've put in place and that's what gives it its supports and it's so specific that it looks like we've kind of tied these in up here onto the twine, but we haven't, of course. That's just nature doing its magic. And that's what it allows it to support all this weight as it grows. It's absolutely incredible. Enough chatting. Let's get harvesting. <laughs> the size of these. Absolutely brilliant.